What's going on guys? Welcome to another Magic Online Vintage Cube Stipulation Draft. I'm your host, 5 out of 8 players in the queue. And uh, today we're doing a stipulation by Gunners, a uh, Twitch subscriber. And uh, the stipulation is the deck must be mono black with at least one and a maximum of two splashed cards from every color. Um, black X cards count. So like, for example, nothing in this pack, but if you have like a Vraska, that counts as a green card splashed. Power trumps all other cards. Color fixing in a color takes up a slot of that color. So if you have a search for tomorrow uh, in green, that, that would take up a green slot, even though it's helping you cast your other cards. Um, so, so pretty sweet. Five color black, yes, but five color back, black, but base black. That being the case... I don't think Urborg is going to be very good for us, that being the case. And, of course, we only open Yawgmoth's Bargain in the Abyss. Um, I wish this was non-black as well. That would be great. I'd totally take that. Uh, this pack is interesting because I want to take the Freilies or the Mystic Confluence. Maybe not the Freilies so much, but um, we could actually take Abyss and go Planeswalkers, but then we'd have to have mono-black Planeswalkers. Noble Hierarch doesn't seem great. Our odds of hitting it on turn one are not ideal. We could just take... The, I think it just might just be the, the white-black land. So, Vampiric Tutor seems pretty solid here. I also like Karn. I think the Abyss might actually come back. Karn and Wizard's Jitte are also very, very good picks. Um, hmm. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure it's either this, this, or this. Actually, yeah, like I like the tutor because it does solve a lot of problems. Like if we need a white source, if we need a black source, if we need a blue card, whatever, you know. Yeah, I'm going to take the tutor. I'm not sure if that's correct, but it feels right. I like Vraska Relic Seeker a lot. That card has has done good things for us. Not sure Dark Confidant's going to be the correct pick here. I like both of these lands, but I think we want to fulfill the... I mean, if we're going to fulfill a green card, I think I want it to be Vraska. That seems pretty good. Oh, Underground Sea. That's fantastic. Also a Marsh Flats. That could help things out. I think I'd rather have the Underground Sea because then future lands uh, are able to be fetched with, with, with this. Shriek Maw is also pretty good. Shriek Maw might actually table, though. No one likes a Shriek. Vraska's Contempt. All right, that's pretty good. And so we're probably steering clear of, like, double... If we take a card like Huntmaster, does that count as a green and a red card? I would imagine it does, right? I don't know if I want it to. I wouldn't want to take that and then, like, not be able to cast it reliably. We're just going to take the Vraska's Contempt. Sweet. All right. That's good. That's actually super helpful. Because if we can find a way to make that work, that makes things easier. Kite Sail Freebooter the pick? That doesn't seem great. I like Shriek. I like Shriek Ball. Manglehorn, actually, probably not bad. Especially if we're black because we want to be able to uh, cast our green spells. But I do like a Joyra. Um, I think it might be Joyra. Especially because we're going to have to play red and we're going to have to play blue. It's not Voice. It's not Blade Splicer. It's none of the double cards. I like Manglehorn, but we already have a green card, and a green card that does a similar thing. I'm going to take the Joyra, because I've actually been pleasantly impressed with Joyra in the Vintage Cube, because there are a lot of legendaries, planeswalkers, and artifacts, as you may have assumed. <sighs> Sylvan Library is a good splash. Godless Shrine, which we already have a white source, which makes me sad. Dark Petition could just be the pick. Library is actually great for us, and probably good enough to be a second... Uh, our second, a second green card for us. This deck looks like it's going to be ridiculous right now. Ugh, all these green cards. Um, <laughs> Death Rite Shaman, uh, ironically, ca counts as a green card. We already have two, and also counts as a black card. Might just be Rage of Rouge Thicket, which is a very weird card to play in our. Yeah, I'll just take the fixing. Creeping Tarpet seems pretty good, especially because we have a Joyra already. 
We don't have any fetch lands for Deathrite Shaman. Otherwise, I think Deathrite would be great. It would be a great pick. I'm gonna take the Creeping Tar Pit. Man, this deck is already looking very, very interesting. We don't actually have many Joyra hits right now, except for Raska. But we assume we're gonna open like uh, Lotus and Mox, so that's pretty good. Who thought up this madness? Oh, oh, we know. Oh, we know, buddy. We know who's guilty. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate the bits anyway, even though you're. Yes, you're just that insane. Um, Plateau is sweet. Umazawa's Jite should probably not still be in this pack, though. That's my feeling on the matter. Wow, the Dark Confidant did come back. Huh. I'm going to take the Dark Confidant here, because I actually don't know how high our curve is going to be. If this is... Oh, the Shriek Maw came back, too. I was actually hoping for that. Huntmaster came back. How many... This is too many green cards. I actually kind of like Disenchant, though. Eh, Voice of Resurgence is reasonable, but not great. That's also fine. That was a late Jitte. I had a feeling it would come back. I think people just don't respect Jitte in this cube. And also, it triggers Joyra. Ooh! Ooh! That's pretty good. That's, uh, that's a spicy meatball. Yeah, we're just taking Sol Ring. <laughs> this is my brown splash. Both of these. These are my this is my maximum two brown splash. Jitte impresses me in any format that I can play it uh, and have my opponent see it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I get to cast this and you get to acknowledge that I cast it? Okay, that's I'm impressed. Um, it just might be Grave Titan here. Grave Titan's very, very strong. We also have an Umazawa's Jitte for the Stoneforge Mystic. Not really? Not really what? I don't even understand what that means. It gains you life, which is relevant against a lot of matchups. It kills it kills a lot of useful utility creatures. It's an extremely fast clock. Like I, what's the first best card in in Vintage Q? If it's not, if Louis says it's not the soaring, Ancestral Recall. I would say Ancestral Recall. I think it's either Stoneforge or Grave Titan here. Hmm. This could be our white splash. I think we're going to take Stoneforge here. Uh, if you open a pack with Lotus, Mana Crypt, and Sol Ring, you actually take Sol Ring. 1,000%. Sol Ring is, is basically a Mana Crypt that isn't, is never going to kill you. Uh, and Sol Ring is a Lotus that you can keep reusing. So we, we have no reason to take Hero's Downfall over a card like Stoneforge because we have Vraska's Contempt already. So could be Tundra, although our whites, we already have two white sources and two black sources in the sideboard, so I don't think I care about Tundra here. Go for the throat could be good. I think it's just go for the throat here. So we have a blue red, a white, and a green. This actually fulfills our criteria, doesn't it? Assuming we play all of these? Yeah, I'll just take the go for the throat. Bitter Blossom actually seems great with a Jitte. Holy smokes. I don't know if this is an appropriate form, but I'm interested in your opinion. So I guess Vapor Smoke. Uh, are you asking if I do either? I do not. Um, I like Overgrown Tomb, but we're going to take the Bitter Blossom, especially because we have Jitte. Uh, it's maximum of two of each. It's at least one, but maximum of two each. Uh... Animate Dead's pretty good. We have Go for the Throw. Raska's Time Exiles. We have Shriek Maw. 
And we actually can't get another green unless we take out one of these two, which I don't really feel like we have to right now. Uh, you can have one more blue. One, yeah, one more blue, one more red, or one more red. Or we could trade the, the Joy in for multiples. I think we're just taking Animate Dead. Colonnade's also interesting, but I, I really have no incentive to take non-black lands at this point. Animate Dead's good because we can probably just kill one of their things and get it and steal it. Kill and they will kill and steal. We got Vampiric Tutor 2.0 over here. All the lands, all the lands can definitely be used. That's why we took them. Um, Tassiger actually seems pretty okay here. I mean, Tasker seems better than Murderous Cut here, for sure. I don't know if this is a Dark Confidant deck, but... Hmm. I don't accept you telling people I'm not really your grandma. You need to accept Mike as your son and I am your grandmother. Stop shutting us out. Did I tell people that? I would never say that, Grandma. That's because lands are not colors, so I don't I don't understand how lands could ever be. Lands don't have colors, guys. Come on. Come on. Get it, get it together. Yeah, I had Mike when I was like six years old. It was uh it was really awkward. Uh is it just Temple Garden? I don't think it's Temple Garden. Living Death can actually be pretty scary. I think we can take the Living Death and maybe see if that something works out in that vein. Got to reanimate too. And a path to exile. Can we cast a path? Probably. Do we just want reanimate? Probably. Do we have reanimate living death and animate dead so far? Probably. Path is pretty good. But we already have go for the throat, Vraska's Condemned, Shriek Maw. Like we have a bunch of removal spells. I'm going to take the reanimate because it's better for a strategy. Massacre Worm seems also good for a strategy, for a quote unquote strategy. I also like Vampire Nighthawk, but. Oh my god, I was so hoping this Grave Titan came back. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Pretty, pretty. We're just going to do it again. Let's not talk about the sperm that eight year olds produce. That's pretty awkward let's not do that i'll just take anguish to making because it's basically the same as a uh vindicate <laughs> for the most part um two white cards we, we'd have to cut one we can't play this guy we'll just take the cast down because it's like the only card we can play in this pack actually we could play olivia that's reasonable um none of these cards are great Probably not playing any of these, right? I'll just take the history of Benali for the sideboard. And by that, I mean for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, demonetized is right, dude. Super not okay. Uh, the freaking one, check out my Twitch profile. There's information on how to, to reach out. Oh, a Black Lotus. How do you do? How do you do? So, still two white, uh, two red, one blue, one two green. Yeah, 100% Lotus. The old Lotus Sol Ring deck. Seems good. What a time to be alive. To be fair, this is the first time we've opened Lotus and Sol Ring in this cube. So, you know, like you do. Uh, is it just Simic Signet? That seems awkward, though. I feel like Joy is going to be difficult to cast. We have no red mana in our in our lands. We want some red lands. Mana Vault, too, actually. Mana Vault seems pretty good. I don't actually hate Frantic Search just because it lets us discard things that we might not be using. It also, uh, we also do have Reanimator cards, so 
No joke. Misty Rainforest? What can we get? Underground Sea. And if we get like a green red, that would be very good. I do like Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Why did he say it like that? I don't know. He's very strange. Lingering Souls. We could take out the Unmaking for a Lingering Souls. I, I, I would be thrilled if we got a Gaunti back. I like that this does get a forest or a... Yeah, I'm going to take this. This gets a blue, black, or a green for us, which is pretty relevant. Um, hmm. We could cut the Joyra and play Jace the Mind Sculptor. Jace, not to just Jace Vrin's Prodigy, rather. We could also just take Vindicate, which is better than Unmaking. We could also do Watery Grave. These restrictions are great. Splash for Slackles, Shackles seems strong. It's probably just Watery Grave, right? It's just a blue. It's just a black source that lets us get free blue sources, right? I like Jace, but then we cut Joyra. I don't think we're actually a Joyra deck anymore. We only have about three cards for Joyra. So the thing is, if we take the Jace, we actually also have to find a red card to play. Hmm, that's tricky. I still think Jace is probably better than Watery Grave. So we'll see. Uh, we can get a Savannah with a Misty Rainforest, which is pretty strong. On Burial Rites? We already have we already have a bunch of reanimate spells. Oh, we have Olivia for red. Touche. Touche. Alright, we're gonna put you in the sideboard for now. Sideboard it is. I do want to I would like a red fixing land. Preferably a blue red or a green red, so we can search for it with a Misty Rainforest. I would also take a black red. Tez does get Lotus, but he's also double blue, so I don't think we need Tezzeret if we actually have if we already if we already have double blue, I'm not sure we really need I'm just gonna take the Savannah because we can search for it with Misty and it's just a strong it's just a strong card, guys. Him to Torok. That's pretty strong in our base black deck. I like Course of Portal a lot. This deck is very interesting. I don't know what to make of it right now. Copperline Gorge. Noxious Gear Hulk. I do like a course of portal. I'm I'm reluctant to take Noxious, although we do have Soaring. I'm reluctant to take Noxious because we have three six drops already. I kind of just want the course of portal because it gives us some some long term card advantage. I like sword because we have uh, Stoneforge Mystic, so I think that's actually the pick here. It's also a very good sword, and we have Bitter Blossom as well. Um, Una's Prowler, that's actually perfect for our deck. Dark Confidant's coming out. I think we got a. I think we, I think we got a Mike B in here for this one. Um, actually, I like Manic Vandal over Olivia here. Maybe, but either way, I like having Manic Vandal to to clean up the mess a little bit. Lingering Souls, that might be better than Anguished Unmaking in our deck. We do have room for second red card, but we have no red fixing, so I'm probably not going to play any second red card. You, you made it just in time for the Soul Ring Black Lotus deck. Why would I lie about that? Because you're a liar. It's fair. I had not considered that. I'm going to take Botanical Sanctum. We have a lot of blue and green fixing. But, I mean, there's nothing else in that pack we'd take, so. There's that Braids that you guys were talking about. Actually, this is pretty reasonable when we have Bitter Blossom and Lingering Souls. Maybe Braids is main deckable here. For the first time in no. Vintage Cube history. Just no. <laughs> You don't want braids when we got Bitter Blossom? Oh, maybe. And we got Lingering Souls? Yeah, I'll take the Unmaking out for now. How you doing, man? I'm sweaty. Oh, why? Because it's hot outside, man. You don't have AC? Oh, you don't have AC in your car, actually. I was like, you don't got AC? He, he doesn't actually have AC. 
What are you trying to make fun of my new AC life? No, I forgot. It's nice and cold in here, though. I keep it chilly, boy. There you go. You can have a little uh, fan action. Fan action? Fan action. Yeah, this deck looks insane. Uh, so our stipulation was it has to be mono black, but we have to have at least one card of every other color up to two. Hmm. So we can play both of these as our green or as our white cards. Uh, we can play these two as our green cards. These two are our blue cards. And Olivia is our red card. And we still have to make two cuts here. We have Animate Dead, Reanimate, and Living Death. So we can actually just pitch all of our creatures to Una's Prowler and then play Living Death, which is pretty sweet. Um, the only problem with this deck is there's a lack of creatures, actually. Well, maybe not. Well, we got nine. We also have Bitter Blossom and Lingering Ten, Souls. Eleven. Yeah, that's not too bad. And we got Grave Titan, man. Vraska makes creatures. Alright, so 12 creatures. Not bad. So, what does Joyra do for this count. deck? Braids actually triggers Joyra. Hmm. I mean, Joyra has 10 hits. It's not bad. I don't think Frank birthed himself. Someone else had to be involved. <laughs> Jorah seems pretty hard in your mana base, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's my only concern, is that Jorah is rough. But, I mean, I don't, is, she any more, is she any rougher than... Uh, like, we have no, one, you only two, need one red. You're already black. Right, but we, only, we already have one, two, three, four blue sources. It's not a ton. How many red sources do you have? None. We just have to add, like... I'm oh, going to add, like, one red mountain. Card. Ooh, no. What? You gotta cut Olivia. That's we good. can't. It's not. That's part of the step. We have to have at least one of each other color. Oh, I thought that was just like you can play those if you want. What? But <laughs> so wait, go over the step again. Again, that's just literally building a deck. I can play those cards if I'd like. No. Oh. Well, of course I can. Well, why wouldn't I be well, like? What? That's just literally so having step, a deck. The step is mono black. But you have to splash at least one card of every color. Okay. Up to two. Up to two. So no more. So I have to have one up to one to two white cards, blue cards, okay. red cards, and green cards in them in the deck. You're like, I thought you could just play this if you wanted to. I'm like, yeah, but that's any card ever in a draft. You could just play the card if you want to. Oh. Um, you have Lotus and Soaring. You can probably get away with twenty four. Yeah. So two cuts. It's still pretty rough. You could probably cut him. Ham? Him. Him? Yeah. I mean, it's powerful, but, like, sometimes it's not, and... Actually, it might be Living Death. I Do we know. like Braids? I think so. With Bitter Blossom and Lingering Souls. I could see cutting it, though. Artifact, Creature, or Land? Like, that's it's a impressive. It's a creature, though. I just I worry if we don't have Lingering Souls or Bitter Blossom that it's just worse. I consider cutting Living Death. It doesn't seem that great. I can get behind that. I don't like it, but I can do it. One more cut. One more cut. I think we can bring Braids in if we want to. I like Living Death just because we have like Frantic Search to discard like a bunch of dudes. or. I like Braids, man. Una's Prowler. Alright, I'm just going to leave it like this and we'll see what happens. We'll go to these. All the lands can come in. So we have we have both uh, Savannah and Underground to get with Misty Rainforge, which is sweet because it can get four of our colors. It's pretty good. You're right. I don't know if I like Botanical Sanctum, though, but I think I might be priced into playing it. I think you are. I don't think I want a forest. I don't think I want an island, and I don't think I want a plains. Man, I do want... This is the one deck where braids would be good, though. Oh, yeah, all of a sudden, now, now he wants braids in the deck. What are we cutting instead of braids, then? Souls seems pretty medium. I mean, we have two. We have two equipment, which is why I like the souls. You could easily cut frantic search, but it, it's a good discard outlet for our for yeah, our thing. You have, you have Zuna's Prowler, and and that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, we have Jace actually too. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut the search then. We'll bring back uh, or we'll try the braids. I mean, if we, if we cut living, if we cut lingering souls, braids is so much worse. Yeah, we have to have their boss. All right, let's see how this works. I think. Are you saying Bitter Blossom has a cut, Dolman, Dol, Dolmam? Because 
That's probably never happening with Jitte and Sword of Fire and Ice. That's just crazy. So up. I think you might have. Can the splashes come out, Pussboard? The if you you still have to you have to submit a deck with the same with the same configuration with red card with the with the same uh, restrictions. So I can board out a red card and add another red card, but otherwise I'll just be like, oh, I'll just pl not play blue anymore. So like I said. Yes. You're like, just take the blue cards out. And I'm like, but you can't. And you're like, oh, I thought you were able to play them if you wanted to. And I'm like, well, I could do that any day of the week. Yeah, this hand's got to go. They did not go to six. That's super rude. Like, can't you just... Okay, go to five. You know what? Sure. You know what? No. I already have Savannah. That's a better you. We can just pay four life. We can pay eight and we'll start... It's like it's Mulligan. like if Magic was like, "Hey, would you like to pay eight life and keep and keep your seven hand?" And I'd be like, "Okay." I should have actually led with Swamp in case we hit him to Torok, but I have no plans to play. Not like Bitter Blossom. That card's so broken. Yeah, that's weird. Oh wow, they just didn't play land. Should I just not play land? Yeah, sure. We'll just neither of us will do anything. You got it. I have a reanimate. I guarantee you, this will work out better for me. Oh, yes. Bizarre broken creature. Please. That's actually pretty sweet. That'd be awesome. You got real excited. He's gonna do it. You got it. It's always so weird when people do stuff like that. Oh, response to your library. Oh, oh bizarre battle. <laughs> oh! Oh, wow. Those are good. Those are good. Those are pretty juicy. As long as they don't reanimate it right now. Well, reanimating either of those creatures right now doesn't really do much for them. Oh, yeah. We also have a Shriek Maw. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. We can just actually reanimate their LS Norn and kill their Stoneforge Mystic? That's pretty cool. This seems worth. Oh, and they have a Batter Skull, too. How lucky. Some guys have... Oh, give me a Blue Source. Oh, him to Torok? Dang. I guess we can still get a Blue Source. We did not get a Blue Source. Um... We're definitely we're reanimating this here. Turn. So you can put back him. Well, I can put back all of them. Uh, put you on top, and I'll put you on top. I don't want to be taking four when I'm already taking seven from Aleshnorn, so. Thanks for the Aleshnorn. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? That feels pretty good. Yeah, keep, keep card disadvantaging yourself. Sucker. S -s 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 Sucker. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Damnation Heroes Downfall Fatal Push. So you just discarded two cards that can deal with a Leshnorn. Interesting. So this land tax is basically a blank, so that's pretty cool. I'll sacrifice your own creature. Sounds good. Sounds good. They have three cards in hand. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, we're just going to him and play Jace here. That's pretty good. Put you on top. Put you on top. Hit two lands. So we know your last card is Batter Skull? Okay. Sure. So now you can't even take up Jace? Wait, you're just gonna discard your Batter Skull? You have no Deal. cards in hand? What? I like this game. This is very strange. I'm real confused about everything that's happening right now. Um I'm going to pay to keep this, and then we'll just put this on top, and then we'll just play Course of Portal. Actually, let's... Actually, right, Jace first. Yeah, Jace first. Discarding Mask Worm seems fine. Yeah, they have no board presence, so uh, that seems okay. 
I want to keep this Shriek Maw, though. <clears throat> then don't play the land. It's <laughs> a good idea. Also, they get to search if we play the land, which is pretty bad. All right, we're just going to pass here. You get to top. Saddleesh Norn noises. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. And I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Never just for Blossom if you want to brew a bitter Blossom Solstice. Yeah, because it feels so, like, it's just a card that's like, well, this ability is very strong every single turn. You know what I'm saying? No. Okay, well, that's sad. We're going to, there's going to be a Lotus in the top three. Wow, they just drew and then they topped it. Oh, they're drawing a second card. I see. I see. Very, very confused right now. They don't like having cards in hand. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. Okay, so actually we get to flip Jace next turn and then... Oh, I guess they might just kill Jace, but that's fine because then we don't have to be oppressed by Liliana. But we get to reanimate next turn if we... Uh... Oh, they had. Oh, that's pretty good. That doesn't seem great though, right? Because then you just get your guys in hand again, and then you just discard them again. I don't understand what's going on here. What are you choosing? Aleshnorn, Jace Friends Prodigy, and Stoneforge. Okay. Jace. Well, we didn't go back in the hand yet. Right. I yeah, but it, they're gonna they're gonna draw them eventually. Well, we're probably gonna kill that. So. Oh, they didn't tickle Leon up, did they? No, they didn't. No. That's awesome. They had no cards in hand, so I have no idea why they wouldn't tick her up. That makes no sense to me. I don't have a homage here. Could have been a decent spot to do Carnage, but... But then we lose Sylvan Library and this, and, like, I don't care about this or this, and this is the only thing I care about, and I have an answer for it. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Olivia steal this. Seems good. Um, no red source though. So, so seems not good. It seems not good. I'll put you on top, and I will put you on top. Some shriek maws have all the luck. All right. Well, we got our Jace back. So you have Stoneforge, Aleshnorn in hand. Seems average. But now this guy just kills... Alright, this... Let's do it again. I don't know what's happening right now. This whole game seems a little bizarre. Alright, so Shriekmaw, Aleshnorn, and Stoneforge in the graveyard. Necromancy. Getting back Aleshnorn. That's pretty good. Boy... Magic's a heck of a game. Never punished. Oh, we can get rid of this. I'd rather have lands that come into play untapped at this point. Also, Living Death seems terrible in this matchup. Uh, now I'll name Carnage, sure. <laughs> Carnage? Huh? Oh, they didn't want a Carnage. That's sad. Okay, seems good. So we can go for the throat and Jace. Yep. Actually, I probably want to go for the throat. Lingering Souls here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, put you on top. Put you on the top. Uh, reason being, they just kill. They just negative Liliana. Oh my God! Wow. Let's let's do it in the correct order. Oh wow. That was terrible. I'm so bad at this game. Whoops. Here, I'll do it for you guys. That was Punt City. That was terrible. I don't even deserve to play Magic the Gathering.
You're just trying to make it fair with his bizarre. You're I like four, to get cards out of your hand. I like the four question marks as if like you don't understand how that happened. I mean, we all know. Oh, now I'm never saying Carnage again. Still a big fan, I think. <laughs> it's so bad. Like the, my problem with plays like that is that it's not like. It's not a matter of being a bad magic player. It's a matter of just being uh, technically in, in a, insufficient there. It's like my brain moved faster than my fingers or the, the other way around. Uh, I think that happens a lot. Yes, I don't know why I'm waiting. Oh, hey. That's pretty good. Um, I guess we can play Jason Sword here. But then they just... No, we play... One, two, one, two. Why don't we just play Olivia? Because I have to crack the Lotus to do that. And we have to pay life to do that. Put on top. Put on top. I think I just want to play this. And Jace. And we're going to keep this in case they just want to keep exiling. But um, I also don't want to put six lands into play because it gives them a, a land tax. So bad. They have one card in hand. Jesus. <sighs> this is so f stupid. Cool. Oh, they got to, we get to keep one. Yeah. I'll keep this one. Oh, it doesn't matter because they're going to plus Olivia. Yeah, obviously. Sacrifice all creatures. Okay, done. I'm done sacrificing all creatures. Yep, you got it. How did you get so good at this game? I mean, we're looking at four cards a turn. Hey, that's pretty good. Choose two cards in your hand drawn this turn. Uh, we can put back Lotus. Put you on top and put you on top. I'm a little grave titan. Gravy titan. This is how you do it in the, uh, in the vintage cube. He didn't use Lillian at all again. That's weird. Well, they have one card in hand, but like... But you didn't play it? Right. Well, Odd. I don't know what's going on anymore. We both voted for homage again. So they have four, five, six lands, and we can actually play a land here and not feel bad. Oh, that was good. Let's do that. Put on top. I'll just play this Lotus at this point. So, yeah, that, was, that was me. Um, I'll go at your face, and I'll just attack both of these at Liliana, and hope you don't have, like, instant speed, get back my Aleshnorn again. I guess we're crossing our fingers, so that's not the... Okay, that's... Fine. Does he still have an Unburial No, they exiled that. They already used that. Hmm. Is there another card you can cast from the graveyard? Probably. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I guess so. Sacred Foundry. Okay. <laughs> Por qué? Uh huh. Is he just trying to thin his deck? Return? What is return? Can't you guys use full names? <laughs> I don't understand. There's like 30,000 magic cards. Alright, well, you're dead then. This is literally 14 damage exactly on board. That's hilarious. I don't need to show you anything else here. Oh, never return? That's a sorcery, is it not? Dread return? See, like, this is what I mean. This is where the confusion lies, because you guys are like, I don't understand anything. 
Well, it's not the full name. I mean, like, the full name is Never Return. And then I'll figure out that it's... What did they have? They oh, have we got this... a Vanquish Unmaking? A Vanquish That's... Unmaking? Yeah, that seems good. You mean ang- Anguished Unmaking? Whatever. Hmm. Where's Mike? What is that? He... I don't even understand what's going on. He's right... He's right here. Did it disappear? What happened? Yeah, we're not playing history. We're not playing the double white card in our deck. That is correct. Uh, Living Death is actually uh, terrible against them. Any of these cards good? I mean, we saw a Planeswalker. We can kill with that, that, that card. We'll kill with that card. Mike is like Drax from Infinity War. Apparently, he's very good at hiding. I'm very good. You cannot see me. We have to cut Lingering Souls or Stoneforge Mystic. And I don't think either of those is great. I wish I had... Actually, being able to exile their Olivia is probably pretty pretty powerful. That makes me feel like a powerful I like wizard. how someone asked for my name. Someone told them the age, which was wrong. Apparently, I'm 28. I didn't even know. That's very random. That's very random that someone would... would... It's really close. I'm 27, but... That's still weird that they're like, yeah, I know his age. I'll just say it right now. I like Vanquish on making. It brings something back from exile, right? <laughs> yeah, you vanquish it, and then they're like, yeah, I'll unmake that vanquish you did. I have not seen all the spoilers from him. I have not seen all the spoilers. Do you like that? Do you like what I did there? No. Do you like it? So you liked it. Look at these. There's like five planeswalkers in this set, apparently. Omniscience is back. Yeah. Did you see this resplendent angel? I did see that one. You did? Yeah. What about... What's the new Liliana do? New Liliana. We'll bring it over here so we can take a gander. Oh, that's a lotus in our hand. Oh, this hand's great, actually. Holy smokes. Uh, Liliana's four mana for four. Plus one, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. If at least one of them is a zombie, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. So very zombie-centric. But otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Negative two, target creature gets negative X, negative X until end of turn, where X is the number of zombies you control. So again, doesn't do. it's very dependent on zombies. And then negative three, you may cast zombie cards from your graveyard this turn. I'm just not impressed with it. Yeah, it's not great. This hand is definitely keepable. <laughs> turn one coercive portal is actually a thing, but I'm wondering if turn three Vraska's Vraska is even better. I think turn three Vraska is even better. We go turn turn one do nothing, turn two Jace, turn three Vraska. That seems good, right? Yes? No? Turn one portal is pretty aggressive. I don't think I like that. You don't? No. I mean, it doesn't... I don't think it... I think the extra card for... But you're... So, like... By not playing on turn one, you're missing maybe three cards. But... Turn three Vraska is pretty insane. Don't hit him to Torok me, bro. Okay. Well, that's aggressive. Also, that Urborg, though. Give me a removal spell. Go for the throat. Go for the throat. Go for the throat. Go for the throat. It's a jackal. It's a jackal. Oh, man. It was a good game. We had a good... We had a good run. Man, your body's making all kinds of weird noises, man. Yeah, I'm hungry. I don't know if that was a hungry noise. Yeah, it was. All right. Well, we get to kill one of the, one of the raddies, the ratty tat tatties. I turned two to Vraska this morning. That's basically all my draft luck for the next decade. Oh, are they not attacking? No blocks. If they don't make a rat here, oh, that's so good. Oh yeah, deal. Such deals. God, you when, never give up the pack, right? When they don't make rats, man, I just laugh, dude. Because it's always the best option, every time. It's never not correct. Uh, 
Yeah, your rat is dead. And you're next. <laughs> that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I forgot you get the treasure out of it. Yeah, they might have forgotten that. No, they couldn't. They didn't. They didn't forget because they tapped the bazaar for Liliana. Oh, they didn't actually plus here. That's Taco actually... Tuesday on Thursday. There we go. We did it. Yeah, if anyone wants to uh, donate to the Taco Thursday, probably tacoing all day. I got a desk to put together, so I'm probably just gonna order pizza. Play you. One, two, three, four. Coercive portal. Coercive portal potty. Discard this easy choice. So apparently Nigeria brings lucky chickens to their games. Oh, I saw that actually, and they're like, you can't do that anymore. I saw an article where they're like, Nigerians are banned from bringing their lucky chickens to games, and I was like, well, that's a real headline. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Um, Nigerian fans banned from bringing live chickens to Croatia game. Huh. I was like, that's pretty funny. The supporter's tradition of bringing along a good luck charm to matches has been blocked by the Russian government. Okay. Okay. I was like, yeah, that's a real headline. Watch, they took, they I bet they took Anguish on making so that they can get rid of my Vraska. Yep. I mean, we get to actually sort of fire and ice and attack next turn, which is pretty strong. I think that's probably, I think it's probably worth killing their, I'll vote for homage. They also vote, ooh, that's a good one too. Ooh, braids. Ooh. Interesting. Can we destroy anything? We can actually get rid of their blood fast, which is pretty good. But the problem is then they can kill Liliana, or Vraska, rather. Hmm. Not if we leave our boy back. That's the, Well, then they can make a sacrifice it, then. Yeah, true. Sure. We can actually kill this and then play Lingering Souls. Yeah, that seems alright. They have zero cards in hand? Yep. Huh. I almost feel like we have to kill this now. But then again, how much longer do they survive when they draw every card costs them two life? I'm pretty sure we're 100%. And we're not putting too much pressure on them, so... Well, I was going to play Sword and Equip. That's a yep. good amount of pressure. Right? Seems okay. And then we can discard Lingering Souls? And I guess we can wait and see what happens. I mean, this is six damage, and then every... Uh, we're going to hit your face, and then we'll just shoot Liliana. I don't care if you make us discard Lingering Souls here. How do we kill Gonti? Oh, we can kill Gonti with the Vraska. That's actually not bad. Shoot you. Yeah, I guess we can kill Gonti here. <clears throat> My problem is that... No, I guess Liliana can't make us... Hmm. You like that? Do we kill Gonti? I think we can just leave Gonti. I don't think I care about Gonti. I think I'll just make a dude. Gonti is pretty irrelevant at this point, so... O-ring is pretty good. So long, Braska. I hardly knew you. But I mean, if that's your play, Bizarre doesn't do anything. We have a sword with a dude. So you're taking four, five, six. You take eight this turn by by just these two guys? Yeah, I'm down with that. And then you go to, like, one life if you choose to draw any cards off of Bloodfast. Sacred is an artifact creature or land. Always with the homage. I 
It's not bad. Not a bad one. You might say it's a good one. Attack your face with both. Put you to five. Easy game, easy life. Yeah, we'll just keep Raska's Contempt back in case they have, like, some shenanigans. This is a perfect turn. Yeah, I was like, this is a great turn to Bizarre because you don't have any cards in hand, so. Dark Ritual Planes. Seems good. Uh, what does this flip do? You just sacrifice a creature, gain life equal to its toughness, so you gain three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine if you want to do that. Why don't we target them with a three? Uh, because, well, for one, it's only two, and for two, it kills Liliana. And Liliana sacrificing herself to kill one of my pirates is not great, because then we only have one threat. And if they find any answer to the threat, then it's pretty bad. So I'd rather just have two bodies on the board. Aleshnorn, and no cards in hand. Okay. Where did the animate dead come from? Gaunti. Oh, wow, they took our animate dead. That's amazing. That still doesn't do anything, though. It kills one of our... See, this is... This is yeah, so it's like... Uh, we can just... We can just Vraska's Contempt this. Which is fine. They do get to gain seven, but... What are you gonna do? Oh, from the flip, you're right. They might not see that, though. There's no way they don't see that. I mean, they might not see that. <laughs> They have to see that, right? Yeah, it's sad. They saw it. I mean, we're still, we're still drawing two cards a turn, and we have a 4-4 a four, four with a Sword Fire and Ice on it, so... I'm not terribly concerned. Homage again. I'm always going to be naming Homage. I'm going to be Homage in forever. Homage and Boo? They named Carnage, so I'm pretty sure we know... Uh... Oh, wow, that's really good. Oof. Oh, uh, it doesn't get exiled because they sacrifice this. So. What did you just say? Or did you just say... You know what, man? I don't want to know what you just said. I said homage and boo. I know what you said. This is my Dragon Ball Z reference. Yeah. Let me just kill this guy. Yeah. They may have nothing. Oh, we got a Lingering Souls in the trash can, too. That's pretty good. Splash that back. Even if they have something, though, at this point, like, our guy's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's play that instead. Mike, are your jalapeno children doing well? Yes, they're they're prospering. The prospering? Mm -hmm. What are they doing that's prosperous? You don't need to know. Wow, secret prosperity? Mm -hmm. And that's the end. This deck is sweet for a really weird mishmash of mono black plus all these other colors. Oh, what up, Mike? Ugh. How you doing, man? Okay, you don't have to be weird about it. Did you see your mom today or no? No. How's she doing? She's doing all right. All right, all right. As far as I know. As far as you know? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I called and talked to her, so. Liar. Oh, I, 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 I changed this. You want to see something cool? Alexa, stream light off. Oh. Oh, check that out. Now you can probably see the green screen. Alexa, stream light on. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. How'd you do that? I got a little smart plug. <clears throat> oh, that's I will is. play first. Oh my god, look at this hand. This hand's pretty nuts. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hand it's is actually decent. gross. And like you might be like, oh, but you don't have any action, but we just literally vampiric tutor for whatever. 
So next we can we can turn one soul ring right. Turn two um, during our upkeep we can vampiric tutor and when we will have land soul ring lotus we'll have six mana. So we can literally just play turn two Vraska here. How do you feel about that? Let's see what they do. I think turn two Vraska is unbeatable. I think we just I think is Vraska better than Titan though. Titan might be better. No, they have black mana. Maybe not. We have to tutor here, right? Because we have six mana. We can also just turn two Massacre Worm and kill their things. Oh, that's also pretty funny. Good lord. That doesn't seem worth. Actually, what if we go... I think we go Vraska and kill the Llanowar Elf. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we're probably going to get a Savannah here because we have a blue source and this gets pretty much everything we need. So we can play that. We'll play you. Green, black, sack, Vraska. Kill this guy. And now we actually have a second black source for our him to Torok next turn too. That seems pretty good. Is this Was this good? This seems good. Seems pretty good. Hmm. We can either play the tarpit and use the treasure, or we can uh, play the swamp. It's probably swamp because we don't actually have a reason. We don't have a way to activate. Force of Will, Forest. Okay. Seems good. Force of Will in your no three-color deck. Because there's no way you don't force the Vraska, right? Yeah, thank goodness, man. Wow. They had... F we just... Wow. Wow. I think we're killing that Demir Signet. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is really good. One, two, three, four. Um, we can actually play Tassiger and keep up enough mana to activate? No, we can't. One, two, three, four. Actually, yes, we can. Oh, especially because we're going to have another clue here. Oh, wow, this is really busted. So one, two, three, and then we have four mana up. So we can go Tassiger. What do we want to leave in here? Vampiric Tutor, probably. Does it matter? Yes, because you can get, you leave the card you want to get with Tassiger. Because if we leave Misty Rainforest, then they just give us that. Oh, we didn't attack there, because I feel like we're that far ahead, I guess. I'm just like, yeah, I don't need to attack you. I'll just, I'll just do whatever. Heroes Downfall. Worn Power Stone. That's not going to do it. All right, let's make sure we make a thing here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can't get lands. We still have to exile the land anyway because otherwise we leave just the land in there. And if we hit two lands, we don't get to hit anything. Yeah, that's pretty okay as well. All right. Seems decent. I would put the sword on the menace guy. Well, my problem is if they have a blue removal spell or a bounce spell, I just want to have protection from it. Floating Demon Skull, thanks so much for two months in a row. Really appreciate it. I feel like we win this game, but, you know, anything can happen. No, man, it's close. It's looking close. One, two, three, four, five. This is where they go island upheaval. You ready? It's still not great. All right. Well, that's the end. No, it's not great at all, especially because we have Sol Ring. That was a, that was a good game. Everybody fought hard. It's close. Don't rub it in. The, yeah, well. <laughs> what do we see? Worn Power Stone. I think Disenchant's pretty good. Just for Worn Power Stone, though? I was thinking about Stoneforge for that? That seems nice. I was thinking, well, I'm thinking I'm just on making. Oh, man. Bring that Stoneforge back. What are you, crazy? Fine. Fine, Michael. Maybe cut the braids? No, man. Okay, fine. Jeez. Just leave it as is. That game made me sick to my stomach. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Everybody win. 
Oh man. I feel yeah, like our deck is card cards. Yeah, I feel like this is actually a decent hand if we can find a way to make it make it do some things, make it dance. Ooh, green soul ring. Soul ring, regular soul ring. Oh, we're so close. Was this a hand where you just literally discard one on turn one and then we can reanimate turn two? It probably was, actually. I think this is definitely a skip a land, discard Grave Titan, turn two. Yeah, that would have been really good. Yeah. You're dumb. <laughs> yep, you got it. The fear is a real nice. Still do it this turn. Yeah, but now they have six mana, so they're just going to go Primeval Titan. All right, we're going to do it anyway. It feels stronger than anything they're going to do. We can also animate dead now, which is nice. We can play a land animate dead, which is less scary. Six slime. That would be game. What? We just go swamp or animate. Yeah, but it doesn't feel good. <laughs> yeah, but not feeling good is nowhere near close to game. We got a grave titan. Oh, it would have been better turn one. That's a smart observation. I appreciate that. An extra turn with a Grave Titan? Better? What? 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 This is bad if they have Force, but what are you going to do? They never have Force, man. They had it in the last game. Which means they have it every game. But they didn't even have what they needed last game. They'll have it. Wow, really? You think so? Oh, wow. Oh, they shuffled our graveyard in, too. That's hilarious. Hilarious! Alright, well. And I guess they definitely couldn't beat that Grave Titan. That's hilarious. I'm still laughing at that, man. What's Vampiric Tutor? Let's, you said? Yeah. What do you want to get? Mm, that's a good question. Because I really, honestly, I don't, I don't actually have any idea what we get here. They don't have much of anything, which is interesting. Let's get Black Lotus or Soul Ring. What does that do, though? It accelerates our mana base. Yeah, but at what cost? Two life. No, but I mean, like, Ooh, worm and discarded. I like that. Yeah, but that gives them a whole another turn. I mean, they didn't have anything for six mana. But we're gonna actually have seven cards. We can't actually discard it. We're gonna draw the massacre room and go to seven cards. That's gonna be our draw. Then don't do that. Yeah, that doesn't seem great. get Stoneforge that actually seems reasonable I mean we have two lands though I'd kind of like a soul ring or something right now or we can just hit Black Lotus and then when we hit a third land we can just play Braska immediately I mean that seems pretty good too I'm gonna get Sol Ring here. It feels better. Uh, we'll keep the black up. Doesn't matter, but. Yeah, Blossom's definitely an option. Wow. Gross. They're just, they just have it all, don't they? They just have mono lands, though. God, Masquerone would be so OP if we had a way to... Like, draw it, get into the graveyard, and then reanimate it. Got something else? You're just going to upgrade this Draga Tree Speaker? Yeah, okay.
Well, by all, I mean they had answers for every one of our strategies. Primal Command, Reclamation Sage. I mean, we don't know what else they have. I'm just saying I propose a strategy and they have an answer for it. So that's to me, that's having it all. Wouldn't have been able to do much this turn anyway. We can't cast Vraska's Contempt. We can't reanimate anything yet, so... I guess we're just at the mercy of taking four every turn until we, uh... Man, they're leveling up that dude aggressively. What happened last game? Was last game the turn three Vraska? Or the turn two Vraska? Yes. Yeah, that was a good game. I, I had fun that game. Ooh, Fraley's. Yeah, that's pretty good. Where my massacre boy at? Eh, I think we just exile Fraley's here. Seems like a plan. Force of will. One card in hand? I doubt it. I have my doubts. If we hit Lotus, it's actually pretty good. We can frask a Relic Seeker. She goes up to eight. That's almost that's stronger than every card they have. Oh god, something's happening. Three, four, five, six, seven. They're gonna tap this guy and then they're gonna crater huff here. Nope. Nope. What? Willamog? Oh god. If it's Willamog, I'm just I'm out. What? Genesis wave? Let's watch him tick down. No? I don't know what's going on right now. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 12. Oh, that's going to be Emrakul. Promise end. I have no idea what's going on, actually. Oh, the Infinite Gyre? That's it? Really? Let's see what happens. Sure. <coughs> okay we're dead yeah that's not gonna do it all right let's try this again this time with feeling once more with feeling um don't care. i think had we thought of that reanimate play on turn one we actually probably would have won that game i think it would have been significantly better yes i think that was uh pretty game changing i think they, they had no answers to it your mom had no answers to it. What's it? What is it? <laughs> I think Olivia is a, a little aggressive. I think Matic Vandal is probably better. Sure. I mean, Olivia requires a, a pretty regular red mana commitment. Oof. What does this do? All the things. I think this hand is great. Like, this hand gets us turn three, Veraska. What is it? I just need a creature. You want it all, but you can't have... Actually, I got Lotus, Kerwit. Lotus Solar Ring. Come on. Get it together, buddy. I think we can tarp it here. I don't think we're going to actually get Vampiric Tutor on turn. Actually. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. Yeah, Vraska seems good. Put out two twos so you can put swords on them. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Big toots. <laughs> yeah, Lotus is not a real card. Oh boy. Three mana, eh? Seems pretty good. Well. Could get a bitter blossom. Isn't Vraska just a bitter blossom that you can also destroy creatures and enchantments and artifacts with? I think so. Yeah, now we just get the Vraska kill their Demir Signet. You want it all, but you can grab it. Vraska's really powerful in this cube. Like, surprisingly so. Yeah, she's really good when you can play her on turn three. Yeah, but I mean, like, she kills everything in the cube. Artifacts, creatures, and enchantments are all extremely relevant.
And she still stays at three? Broken. Yeah, like three is... And she starts at six and goes to either eight or three, both of which are very, very relevant. Plus, like, if this was your play on turn two, I can't imagine you have much more on turn three. What is it? You know what that's from? A song. Okay. No, oh, Jace Bellerin? No. I can just kill Jace immediately. Unless you let us draw a card. You didn't let us draw a card? That's very interesting. You could still kill him. Well, yeah, I'm going to. But, I mean, I thought it would be... It, like, it's just weird that Jace can trip for them, you know? Like, that seems like a bad use of Jace. Brando1980, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Uh, Vraska's ultimate is negative 10. Its target player's life total becomes 1. So it's pretty... It, you just make a bunch of dudes, and then you're like, all right, put you to 1, kill you. Pretty legit. You can equip a sword next turn. What is it? See if we can kill them before they get to hideaway. Well, they have 7 cards to go, so... I imagine we might be able to do that. Unless they go like... God, Factor Fiction plus... Um, now you don't have to sacrifice the treasure. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Let's play around Mana Lake. Seems good. Boom, 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 Oh, yeah, this game's over. <laughs> it sure feels like it. Las Vegas Stalkers Club since 2017. <laughs> I wasn't even in Vegas, though. That's so sad. Oh, unless you mean Las Vegas. that Then that's much, that's actually real funny. Current one black soul ring, one black soul Frank bug. That's pretty good. I like it. What about uh, what about Soul Lotus? Soul Lotus. Soul Lotus. All right. Well, our board seems good. I'm not gonna lie. They could primal command and put this on top and then shuffle our graveyard in, but I I think we might still be in a good position. You could say that. Did you see all these mares? Mm -mm. Reclamation Sage. I mean, we have a Jitte. You know, this only really, this doesn't really do what you want it to do. There's like a, a cycle of five mares in the set, and they're all really, really pretty sweet. This old mare, she ain't what she used to be. To be. Old gray mare. I guess I'll just play Soul Ring and then Umazawa's Jitte and equip Umazawa's Jitte and keep up Vraska's Contempt. It seems okay. Your body is really revolting right now. So it seems. So at the seam. Oh boy. Boop. The insta boop. All right, make another dude. So we have Vraska's can we have 6 6 on board, 7 8 9 on board, 11 damage on board and we have Vraska at 9 and a Vraska's contempt in hand. That's pretty good. Yeah, there's 6 if you count time and mirror, that's true. But I'm I'm talking about like the 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 cycle of five colors that all uh have a they're like hoser mares, I guess. So what do they do? Okay, hold on. I'll bring them all over here so we can look at them together. the white mare go 
Did I not save the white mare? Apparently I did. <clears throat> Don't know where it went though. Found it. I think our opponent's like, what can I do to not have my death take place in the very next turn? Alright, so you gotta start with the white mare. <clears throat> Shield mare, three mana, one white white for a two three. Okay. Can't be blocked by red creatures, so it's good against red decks, obviously. When it enters the battlefield or becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you gain three life. So it automatically gains you three, and if they try to kill it, you gain another three. Pretty good. Like just pretty good for a, a good. just a regular white creature. Surge mare, blue blue for an O five. Can't be blocked by green creatures. Well the O five can't be blocked. That's powerful. It's also horse fish, which is worth noting. Whenever it deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. So you got a loot ability, which is pretty sweet. And it gets plus two, negative two until end of turn for a blue and a colorless. Hmm. So, again, not bad. Like, the, the fact that they can't be blocked by certain colors is pretty sweet. Vine Mare is four mana. It's got hexproof, and it can't be blocked by black creatures. So it's a five three. You just bring it against mono black, and they can't block it. And it's got hexproof, so they can't kill it. So, Lightning Mare. Uh, they're playing a metamorph, but I'm going to just finish these real quick. Lightning Mare, red, red for a 3-1. Can't be countered. It can't be blocked by blue creatures, so anti-blue all day. And that gets plus 1, plus 0 oh for 2 mana. So fire breathe. And 3-1 for 2 is really good stats. And the Plague Mare is a 2-2 a two, two for 3. It can't be blocked by white creatures, and when it enters the battlefield, creatures your opponent's control get negative 1, negative 1, which is pretty mm. good. So pretty sweet cycle. I mean, they're all pretty useful. You just... You don't copy Jitte here. Do you just copy a pirate? Do you copy a soul ring? What do you copy know, here? Man, he did. You copy a soul ring. That is a desperation soul ring right there. Why didn't they name it Seahorse? This is these are the these are the good questions, man. All right. Um, Braids feels much better for us right now than for them. I'm also just gonna kill this. Because if you want to use whatever mana you have, I want you to use it now. Okay. Seems good. Uh-oh. Are you going to Cryptic Command? You can't do that. You only have one blue. Snapperino. Okay, so you actually don't have anything to hit with Snapper. And those guys, that Snapper cannot block any of those dudes. So let's just kill them. Well, I'm going to make them waste their one mana. Go to Combat. You can't block any of these guys, actually. That's interesting. Nor Creeping Tar Pit. Yeah, you can't block any of these creatures. This is a very interesting turn. All right, and <laughs> that's the end. This deck has been crazy good. I guess when you have Black Lotus and... Uh, Soaring. And Soaring, it's... Mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, you know, it does a thing. It does a little thing. It's got the the, the the artifacts of mana, and it's a really strong thing to have. I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. It's a little bit, I guess, but... You're a little bit. Yeah, I know. Oh. All right, well. Seems pretty good. Also, turn three Vraska is no joke. Turn two Vraska, even less of a joke. This hand is real slow, <clears throat> but it has everything we want, right? I'd mull. Would you mull this hand? Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. I mean, we've got Lingering Souls and Nebraska's Contempt. I guess. We're on the draw. This is a fair hand, but I mean, like, I guess Olivia's kind of a mulligan anyway, so. Oh, dang. I think this is better. This is better if we... Oh, it's it's so much better right now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Soul Ring's not a real card. Soul Ring into Jitte. Turn four Vraska. Sure. Yeah, good luck, buddy. We got a soul ring. We're never having more lands than you. I don't ever need more mana right now. Go. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's your turn. Ooh, not bad. Oh, you did a land. All right. Cool. Well, we're going to kill that. That's not... Wow. You do both? Gross. We do both. Oh, dear God. Bitter Blossom, Jitte, Soul Ring. And, like, we're two lands away from just casting Vraska. Oh, they didn't do anything. Well, cool. that's pretty good. 
I will also not do anything. You think we're playing a land, buddy? You're mistaken. Yeah, I, you're, I, I'm fine right now. Okay, well, we'll get another one of those next turn. Sure. That is desperation right there. That is, that is real desperation. All right, so we're just going to play the game where neither of us play lands and you have to answer this every turn. Deal. All right. You got another answer? It's a fairy with a jitte, buddy. Tarnal, good games, buddy. Yeah, the uh, the turn two Vraska into turn three Vraska is not ideal. I mean, for you. It was, it was pretty good for us, but I definitely understand uh, why that was more difficult to beat. Frasca's a hell of a hell of a card. Alright, I'm gonna attack with this fairy rogue. Let's see what happens. We get some counters? Okay. Are they just really missing land drops? I'm never gonna give you a land with uh with land tax. I'm gonna wait till I draw Lotus, play Vraska, kill your land tax, then play a land. Yeah, the onus is on him to do something. Yeah, hundred percent. And they do nice. nothing and get to see no more of our hand. Seems pretty good. All right. Well, that's a thing. Oh, we didn't see much. We didn't see much at all. We saw a mother of runes. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think we just submit. Yeah, that... Remember that time we mulliganed into uh, Sol Ring, Umazawa's Jitte? And you were going to keep that hand. Pshaw. Oh, I kind of like this too. I keep it. It just le it, it leads to so many busted things. Any blue is great because then we can discard I'm things. Draw too. Oh yeah, that's even. Let's see what we draw. Come on, bomb. Draw bomb. Don't care about that. Draw bomb. Bomb 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 bomb. Dang it. That's really good. Why? How are you gonna complain about that? Yeah, I guess it's pretty good. <clears throat> they are going to get to oh wait that's not our mother runes that's a horsey oh they mulligan to six too so if they go land guy we get to no they're just going to level up twice oh. nope wow that's better for us because now we get to make them discard two cards oh my god we have reanimate we can actually make them discard two and then eat something of theirs if it's good yeah let's hope so fingers crossed oh. I'll, I'll take a yeah. hero blade hold let's get a hero I need, I need a hero. Nope, not going to do it together. That's weird. <laughs> oh, Lord. I didn't actually see the new Tezzeret. Let's take a look at that guy in a second. Honor's good. Hero's better. Hero bitter blossom? I think so, but that's a lot of damage we're taking. I guess they can't really attack here, though, because... And it, like, so, like, the thing about Bitter Blossom is, like, if they have a guy bigger than a 1-1, one, one, just being able to block it every turn is more efficient than... Like, you take one from the Bitter Blossom and prevent two, so. Is Tezzeret a gold card or oh, a blue card? It. Dang. Wow, that's rude. But we gained the life, so whatever. It's basically like nothing happened, right? That's rough. Yeah. This is the first time in history so a uh, Black Lotus was a rough draw. One spontaneous hero duet bug. <laughs> oh, Kerwit, buddy. You are gas. Where's the new oh Tezzeret? God, there's so many cards. 3UU. I don't think I don't think Mythic Spoiler has been updated with it yet. Yeah, no Tezzeret. That one here. on the bottom was it? No, that was from the Planeswalker decks. Oh, so it probably sucks. Correct. I think we just have to actually... Cracker for a Jace? Yeah, we really do, unfortunately. Oh, you linked it. Weird. Why isn't it there? Tezzeret Artifice Master. Three blue blue for five mana. Create a 1-1 one, one colorless Thopter artifact creature token with flying. That's actually great. Plus one to make a 1-1. One, one. Zero draw a card. If you control three more artifacts, draw two cards instead. Oh, wow. Ooh. Those are both great. Uh, negative, negative mind, you get an emblem with at the beginning of your end step. Search your library for a permanent card. Put it onto the battlefield and shuffle your... It's pretty good. Oh, that card's gas. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's really good. All right. Yeah, all three of those abilities are great. And even if you don't have artifacts in your deck, it's completely irrelevant. Like, you can still draw a card from the second ability without having an artifact. And, yep, definitely blocking the 4-4. Four, four. So we go to 5, and then we go to 4. It's not ideal. Oh, they're just pumping. They have nothing to do. All right. Pretty brutal. Raska's Contempt, maybe? Oh, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Frank Loves Mountain has resubscribed. Wow, four months in a row. Thank, thank you, me love Mountain. We really need life gain, though. Like, otherwise we're going to die to our Bitter Blossom at this point. We can draw Jit. We can draw Jit, hey. We also can, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Draw Raska, kill our own Bitter Blossom. Uh, that is not how Vraska... Oh, Vraska. I was thinking Vraska's Contempt, which we have both of in here, so... Yeah, Vraska's Contempt would be a really strong draw, actually. All right, well, we have, like, four turns plus whatever Jace wants to do. Okay, well... That is unfortunate. I feel like we definitely attack with... With tidy whities Yeah. I mean, they just trade, but I think that's actually okay. That's totally fine. Probably attack with a flyer, too. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, wow. All right. Interesting. Zombos for day. We can cast him again with Jace, but... Oh, wow. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good draw. Wow, they get twice the counters, too. Oh, they didn't actually attack? Oh, wow. Vraska's Contempt one time, and then I can flash it back and play it twice. Okay, that's... That's still us being alive. Yes, Bitter Blossom is going to kill us. We have one turn. <clears throat> I don't think we attack again. Otherwise, they get four counters, make two Probably dudes. Probably the flyers. Yeah, that seems fine. All right. Magic is a game. Wow. That is messed up. That probably kills us. No way, man. We draw Swamp. <clears throat> yeah, it probably kills us. Swamp, Raskin's Dem, we still die. Yeah, you're right. Yep, that was pretty amazing. Carnage. Maybe we'll get there. That would be hilarious, actually. <clears throat> they go block here, block here. They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They are not dead. Oh, man, you should have voted Carnage. And it doesn't matter. Maybe they'll vote Carnage. Yeah, maybe. I mean... I don't know. Oh, wow. That ain't gonna do it. They voted Carnage. That's pretty hilarious. Wow. Oh, we got there, too. God, Armageddon. This guy's deck's pretty good. We did. Wow. 
No, you can attack with everybody, and if they don't block, we win. Why don't we have a lifelinker? Yeah, we'll just go to the next game. Save our time. Yeah, Manic Vandal's definitely coming in here over Olivia. So is this over Stone Forge. Jitte is just not a card I feel like dealing with in a heavy creature deck. <sighs> um, not sure this is a keep. If we don't play a land, next turn we can discard Massacre Worm. Yeah, but like, they have Sword and that doesn't do much. It might kill one guy. This is better. Yeah. I'll keep that. Uh, why not vote Carnage there? Because I don't... I mean, like... I don't know. Like, the reason we don't vote Carnage is because... They're probably not going to vote Carnage unless they see we draw we draw, we vote homage, because we're dead on board. So like, unless we're just hoping they misclick, um, we're not winning that game. So I mean, it just doesn't really matter that much to be honest. Um, a little bit of awesome first. Yeah, let me play another card. Yeah, they get to see what we vote for. So. Oh, fuck. God, I'm so tired of Honor of the Pure, man. It's surprisingly good in the mono white deck. That was a good draw. Oh, Oblivion Ring and History of Benalia. That's not History bad. of Benalia would be pretty obnoxious. I'm glad that's not there. Yeah, two, three, threes. So and then ring. Pump all your guys. It's pretty good hits. That's obnoxious, but we can pretty easily kill it so um actually we can save this guy and just take two and then we'll just kill it next turn we'll, we'll double block that that bad larry this worm's gonna be good if we can live long enough agreed we are killing the stallion pretty good turn for us i'm okay with everything that just happened there they have one card in hand um oh, that's pretty good. that's actually insane <laughs> we get to make dudes every single turn <laughs> yes please and an, uh yeah all right well that's pretty brutal and we got rid of their o-ring and their swords so yep that is dead uh Put you on the stack first. Oh, did you see those Ulamogs? I did. <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, we're definitely going to sack the one that just came into play. Oh, we didn't even draw yet. Let's draw first. Black Lotus. That will change anything. Vraska's Contempt says, uh, Exile a creature or Planeswalker, you, you get to survive two more Bitter Blossom triggers. Mm-hmm. And they actually can't sacrifice these because they're enchantments, so they have to sack their lands. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Braids winning this game. That is pretty insane. I mean, so far. Oh, go. <laughs> and there you go. Wow, this stipulation was awesome. Gunners, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support and uh, pro uh, sponsoring this stipulation. <laughs> Either way, that was awesome. 3-0, pretty sick. The Braids, we weren't even sure we were going to play, ends up winning the game. Uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in uh, doing a stipulation or, you know, having me critique a deck or whatever, just supporting me on Patreon, check out the links below on my profile They're uh, or the, the description. They're in there. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.